Hello loafers, this is Brad, aka Tart Ninja, <clears throat> and I have no idea what I'm going to do, except run around the wastes. I did manage to pick up a couple of things in the atomic shop with some of the atom that I'd managed to pick up over the last few uh, games that I've played here, so finally got the Mothman statue, which uh, I think is absolutely wonderful. I love the, an the large animated statues. But I know my camp budget is pretty well maxed right now, so that's probably not going up in this particular camp build, but maybe my next camp build. They do have a 1500 cap uh, Cult of the Mothman bundle that you can get, which has a smoke machine, <laughs> which I thought was interesting. Um, I'm kind of wondering if it functions a bit like the, like the Robo Brain smoke machine essentially the smoke screen that it puts out well, something shot at me oh well um okay I just love this when stuff starts to fade in. You have no idea where everything is at, and all of a sudden, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> ah, that never gets old. Alright, I've got my live chat. There we go. Live chat is up, so if you want to talk while I play, Feel free. Alright, I think I've got what I want to get out of there. Wow, there should be two dead scorched. What's the other one? Yeah, I don't know. I thought I heard two die, but... must be somebody in the building so let's go deal with those shenanigans yeah there's somebody in the building yeah it, it seems that being scorched is not comfortable uh, by any stretch of the imagination Upstairs or up front? <laughs> it was up front. so bad at swapping out those cards. Okay, everything else looks good. But I do want to open this safe. So, <clears throat> let's get all three of our lockpicking cards. Ooh, 
Oof. Okay. I'm going to go through probably four. Yeah. Here's number four. opposite side of that. Ooh. There. Well, it's kind of worth it. Shadowed leather. Ah, eh, what the hell? I'll scrap that. Ooh, XL. Nice. And Rad X. That did not suck. And now I'm officially over encumbered. All right, let's go upstairs. I don't think there's anything up here, but. The two suicide folk here. It's a shame that we can't read their notes here, because they both have pencils. There's paper, so they've written on it, complete with hovering spoon. That's interesting. So, I mean, we know, and there was a third place. I really want to know the story of this. We've got two people who've written notes. One setting here. I always found it interesting that there is no chairs in here either. I would love to know what the deal was. But anyway. Here, nothing. All right. Oh, we love the boiled water. All right. Let's run back here. still alive. I'm gonna go inside here and see if any if anything is broken in my camp. One of my meat fruit trees is broken. All right. Let's run out there and thankfully I have green thumb. So I got two mute fruit. And now I can repair my tree. Excellent. All right, let's scrap our stuff. So here's that shadowed leather armor. Yeah, it's a level 10. Oh, I forgot I had the tactical marine helmet. I have any weapons? <sighs> Got five of these. So about three and a half pounds worth of tomahawk. <sighs> yeah, I'm just... to put that tactical helmet in. All right. In my 
junk. Do they have any food? Ah, I do. Let's deal with this. go <laughs> just got close enough uh, let's take a look and see I've got to have some rotten meter Ooh. it's four acid for both man I don't care about raw crystal deal with this black titanium ore. And I just made some crystal and wasted some acid. Wait. Yeah, okay. <sighs> what do I got in here that's probably... Yeah, it's just the ionized meat, which really doesn't do anything doesn't spoil so Get rid of the 38 ammo. Sitting on with like I said, I try to sell my stuff at about ten percent. <laughs> These are pretty well full. Oh my. Yeah, and my stash weight is at 798. Hey, Irish! Yeah, I, I plan on playing till about, uh, well, for about th 2 hours and 45 minutes. So. Really? turn no I can hear myself on YouTube so I don't know I think something's happening on your end man 
And of course, you can't hear me right now. Just messaged him, let him know. <sighs> there we go. All right. So my stash is pretty well full. I dumped all my junk, yeah? Yeah, look at all this garbage. All right, I'm going to ditch those fusion cells. They do nothing for me. Oops, there we go. Oof. Yeah, I'm pretty well full there. I still have a lot of 45 ammo, so I'm going to leave that. I really don't have any stash space to put those shotgun shells. So, I just won't mess with that. Um, what's my camp stash? Sure, my camp. Yeah, I really don't think I can put anything else here. I am tapped out. Alright, well I do want to go to Morgantown to get the head. I've got the foot and the hand. I want the preserved head. So I need to go to Morgantown uh, Airport for that. Off to Morgantown Airport. Uh, how am I doing for purified... Whoops, purified water. 35, yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Oh, why won't you let me... That's lame. I was hoping that they would fix that at some point, but that is not the case. Or it might be where it's positioned, too. I hadn't thought of that. I'm glad I have things set up now so that tree doesn't clip into my house. It's a little thing. It's not really all that Is important. There anything better than raw asbestos? Yeah, I got a list. All right. All right. Morgantown Airport. Yeah, you really got nothing going on there. Let's see. Morgantown Airport. They do have plans. That's uh, only going to be a few caps. Yeah, five caps, that's fine. Oh, jeez. Whoops. What 
is my phone doing? There we go. 83A. And oil spill. I have never seen anything so beautiful. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Been making some progress there. Not my cup of tea, but you know that's okay too. Ammo plans and cores. Yes, and you have every plan. <laughs> oh wait, except for table lamps. <gasps> Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Lemonade and rum. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to buy two. That rum's a little... Mm. But you know what? I'm going to buy two. Help a brother and or sister out. doing very well in nuclear winter. I like how these corks just clip through the glass a little bit. I got some magazines. Oh, I got some of the backwoodsmen. Scout's life. Nice. Very nice. I wonder if that's the meteoric sword. Yeah, this is... It's an interesting layout. <laughs> That's very cool. Ah, yeah, they do have it. <clears throat> Excuse me, right by a river as well. Nice. I'm always leery of camps that kind of bleed out onto the road a little bit, but... Oh, it's Nuka Shine. character is completely jacked up on Nuka Shine and I am going to get teleported away somewhere when I black out. But to be honest, uh, it's fine. It's whatever. You can always get back to Morgantown Airport. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, that's a good question, Toxic. Usually the reason why I, I move from a Friday night... Friday night is usually a pretty good night to do it. What's been happening lately is that things have come up on Friday nights, so then I've had to... You know, had to stream on Saturday, and now... Now if something comes, you know, I, I, I'm i thinking about it, but I'm I'm worried too that if something comes up, I'm going to be gone for the weekend while I could have streamed on Friday. So I don't, 
I love the concept of having a dedicated day and time for streaming, but it's not always possible. So, and I hate to do that to, to the Loafers channel, just popping my day back and forth. So, I don't know. I, I'm, I think I'm going to talk to Mel and get her thoughts on it. Because I don't, it's not necessarily fair to, fair to the channel for me to jack my time around like that. Oh, here we go. Yep, blacking out. <laughs> I like how they've changed it a bit. Whoa. <laughs> Ah, uh, and there's Fox Lariat. I miss Foxy. I hope she does well at college. All right, I wonder where I'm going to come to at... Well, I'm by a responders camp. What am I teleporting again? <laughs> What's happening? Ah. <laughs> uh, the other half of the fun is actually coming to somewhere. That would be great. Ah. If you drink Nuka Shine at all, you will black out essentially and just show up somewhere else. And also, thanks for watching, Tim. I think that's one of the fun things about about Nuka Shine. The thing I'm worried about here is that I'm gonna keep teleporting. And that seems to be what's happening, which means I'm going to have to... <laughs> uh... All you do is you consume one Nuka Shine, a vintage, just to make that clear, vintage Nuka Shine makes you black out like this. I think I'm done teleporting now. Oh, thank God. And yeah, you end up in weird places. There is a place where you can wake up at, and it exists on the map, um, and it's a tribute to Skyrim. <laughs> oh, I know where I'm at. At one of the raider encampments. Yeah. Um, one of the groups of raiders split off. Um, it's not the gourmands, it's the trappers. I can't remember who they are. So I'm grateful I have some of my sneak abilities, because some stuff is actually mined here. So as long as I'm sneaking, I'm not going to get blown up. Yeah, sorry, Tim, I wasn't clear on that. It's the vintage Nuka Shine. You can drink the the regular Nuka Shine that you make. That's basically like the unfermented Nuka Shine. Ah! I didn't check the map. It would seem someone launched a nuke. And just kiss the edge of the Fisher site, too. Interesting. 
Oh. Yeah, they hit the edge of Fisher Site Prime and the other Fisher Site. Forty-five, yes, please. Yeah, because I think this is a location that is a part of a quest earlier in the game. Um, when you're working with Rose during the Raider Faction portion of this game. Yeah, here's one of the traps. <laughs> oh, there's a monkey. Because I'm sneaking. Yeah. I'm not being registered by some of the triggers. It's... And it's a part of my build. I think it's... Not sneak. Covert operative? Uh, there we go. No! Where are you? Well, my agility is... Oh, hang on. It might be my agility that's causing that to happen. Because my... My agility's at 18. My perception's at 20. So... Yeah, I am not a melee fighter by any stretch of the imagination. I am built for... Being a... Long distances... If I can do that at night, I do a lot of damage. Oops. Come on. There. Man, nothing here I need. Oh well. 45 rounds though. Some right away. Yeah, I... You know, even when I played Fallout 4... I tried to go for being more of a sniper character, so... Uh, no, that's a recipe I have. So I will leave it for someone else to find. I think I've really kind of found everything here. Ah, nope. Ooh, fusion core. Yes, please. Scar box I found earlier. Yeah, I think I've found pretty much everything that is worth anything at this camp. Ugh. The raiders are kind of nasty. This is kind of a nice location, though. Great view. No one's really going to mess with you. And your major way in, they've got kind of bottlenecked. So, that's kind of cool. Oh! Yeah, my camp used to be on the other side of... Uh, of that structure there. Yeah, my camp used to be. Yeah, my 
that camp used to be right about here. Great location. There's a pond there, so I could filter all sorts of water. The only problem was, I just uh, having vending machines that far out in the boondocks. Nobody really came to. So, what event? Oh, back on the beat. Wait a second. I thought joining events was not going to cost anything. Huh. Alright. I'll have to read those notes again, but... Maybe that's not considered a public event, but I thought it was. I think this is me and a uh, pony fan who's crouched down when he and I played. He's into Monster Hunter right now, so hopefully we'll play together again. Christian always makes me laugh. And perhaps Irish will play a little later, too. So that would be cool as well. I'm going to be playing for another two hours and 20 minutes. So that's the plan. It will be I'm going to end the stream at 9 o'clock central my time. Sanjay here, letting you know that Steelheart is fully charged and ready for action. If you're in Morgantown, go ahead and activate him so we can check the alarms on the stash rooms. Right. Just make sure he doesn't take too much damage. I've got enough repair work as it is. Oh, Sanjay. I don't think I've ever done this event. Take your steel scrap, though. Some lead. Uh oh. How's he doing? Okay, good. <sighs> Alright, I need to get my cards in order here. Because that is not going to do me a lick of good. Concentrated fire really saves some time. Now I just need to find where that freaking robot went. How did I lose a robot? How is he recharging? He's not... Okay. S uh, that's frustrating. I paid 22 caps to go to an event that uh, was done. This game is not a perfect game, but it is a fun game. <laughs> there are little things here and there that are very frustrating. That is one of them. <laughs> Alright, let's see.
see. I'm going to pull a Ferris Bueller here. <laughs> Come and get me! Nobody else came? That's disappointing. seems to be ah. oh there's the dude from earlier and he probably grabbed the head <laughs> because I was screwing around yeah the head's gone ah. like I mentioned before I got the severed head once before but I was an idiot and I scrapped it Except keep trying to get it back. Alright. I'm going to do a little bit of a medicine run here. That's nice. Boom, right through the wall. <laughs> I don't need a bone saw. Here it is. <laughs> it's stuck through the wall. Uh. Yeah, I don't need that much. Well, I am going to grab that. And there's some reds for me. Good on that. Now, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to approach these. And if I can successfully start the event, three crates will follow me wherever I go during the rest of this play. We'll see. Take that. You watched the last time I played. Uh, no matter where I went, these things would random. Would, they would teleport eventually to where I was. It was crazy. Absolutely crazy. And I can't trigger the event. Okay, so I might get lucky and not have those things follow me wherever I go. It is the craziest thing just to. 
I was at the Pioneer Scouts camp, and all of a sudden, just for no reason, these things just fall from the sky. <laughs> they just followed me everywhere. Uh, ridiculous. Let's go... Wait, is the death pit over... here? Now well, there's that. Here it is. Yeah, this whole... whole scene here is crazy. Yeah, if I was playing a character with that used 10 millimeter. Hang on. Actually, that should work. There. So yeah, they didn't know what this, what was going on with these scorched, and they were kind of investigating and testing on them, and then they had to make like pits to get rid of their test subjects. You can see all these that transformed into their. Into their final, ugh. Into their final form. Uh, yes, there is an automatic assault rifle in the game. It's a. the med room What's the medicine here no but there was a thing by the door oh it's over here derp uh give me just a sec here and need to eat. Okay. <clears throat> and I can answer your question here in... it over here? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, machined. Aw, oh, crap. I don't think I have the plans for the assault rifle. They have a submachine gun. There is an assault rifle. Um, yeah, I don't have the ability to build it, but it is used in the, uh, you can find Super Mutant sets, like one of their preferred guns that they use, is the assault rifle. Not sure that the scorched use it. Let me see. I know I popped one over here. Nope. Yeah, I think that. 
that's the one I popped. Well, maybe not. Somebody might have come through here as well. It seemed a little light. I only triggered one, which I thought was strange running through. Okay. Usually there's a few. See one sitting out. It's been a while since I've been in here. I have the feeling that I'll be able to find one in here. There's a uh, there's an assault rifle, and then there's a handmade rifle that you can make automatic which looks more like our assault rifles that we're used to seeing yeah forgot i had that gun activated where'd you go changed the layout of this building in one of the previous patches. <clears throat> and it was definitely a change for the better. Absolute change for the better. That said... Where I'm used to going, I think this is my second or maybe third time coming in here after the change. Uh, it is now a complete maze, which is cool. And there's a full story attached to it. And you get, you get the definite sense that... <clears throat> This was one of the last stand places of the first responders, or of the responders, sorry. They were made up of police and first responder people. And they were noticing people changing into these scorched creatures. Again, they can't see me, so I'm able to do two and a half times the amount of damage that my gun normally would do. Which does not suck. I'm hearing lots of footsteps. be able to find one of these guys with an assault rifle. Oh, there we go. There's one. Uh, whiskey. Yes, we want that. Whiskey boosts your your strength, but makes you dumber. 
which can be very handy when you're over encumbered and you need to run away from something. <laughs> All right. I think what I'm hearing is upstairs now. I'm gonna go this way. Sounds so creepy. I thought the ghouls sounded creepy. <clears throat> Scorched are worse in some ways. That's nothing. Uh, I'm trying to find somebody with an assault rifle. <laughs> This is kind of a heartbreaking area of the new map. This became a trading post. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're going through the scanner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hopefully. Man, nobody here has an assault rifle. Somewhere here are the stairs up. Like I said, I was here once before, so that's why I have the card. Hey, Mel! Uh, they, they are completely different. The Scorched are, the Scorched are the product of the end game creature that you have to fight, which is the Scorched Beast Queen. I really, uh, Spoilers. <laughs> Heavy spoilers. What ended up happening is in the process of these companies mining, one of the companies decided to use nukes to mine. Because why wouldn't you? Ooh. Bobblehead. responders in the process of doing that nobody really gave much thought to the fact that there are creatures that live underground like bats what ended up happening is there's material here that you find called ultrasite which is more powerful than nuclear material. They are actually with a small bit of ultrasite. You, as you roam around the map, you find a place where, I think it's AMS is the name of the mining company, and they discover that a small amount of ultrasite is far more powerful. Is there gas here? Did somebody pop that already? Okay, somebody popped it. 
it's more power. Yep. It's more f powerful than nuclear material. So, what ended up happening is this material and the bats being irradiated, they ended up mutating. And they ended up mutating into something that would infect, they could infect humans, and they infect humans with their sonic blast, and they can release a radiation cloud, like a crop duster, essentially, and they can uh, infect people. And what ends up happening is this ultracite material starts growing inside of the host, along with whatever else that these bats this mutated virus that they have kind of maybe bonded with the ultracite, you're not entirely sure. But they ended up having, becoming like hive mind like creatures. So if you fight like a, a scorch beast, all of a sudden scorched humans will come in droves at you because they know where you are because the hive mind, they're linked up. So, Scorched that are close by will join the fight. The side effect of being infected with this virus, this sickness that makes them Scorched, is eventually, this material is growing inside of them. And... This is what happens. They end up, essentially... If they don't keep moving, they will get locked into this position and essentially burn up as this ultracite grows out of them. And that's why when I do this to search, can you hear my Geiger counter going off? They're irradiated with this ultracite material. They don't have a lot in them, but it is enough to do this to them. And they will eventually get locked into place and die like this. Yeah, so that's the weird big spoilery thing of what you end up finding out by the end of the game is a whole the true tragedy of this is that if all the different factions across in the game uh, the responders of, of Morgantown the raiders the Brotherhood of Steel over here um if all of them had pulled together with all of the knowledge that they had with their own experiences and investigations with the Scorched, they could have lived. And the reason why we don't find people, regular humans, in the game is because they're either dead or infected. And that's... that's it. That's all... That's all that's left of this area. So, keeping in tradition with <laughs> the tragedy that is Fallout, um, yeah, that's, that's what happened here. Hey, Jaspin. So, uh, long and involved and incredibly spoilery, <laughs> but uh, that's that's what happened here. Oh God, this is this is awful. I'm gonna open it anyway. Uh, three going. Three going. There we go.
Yeah, she's here. God, that's a hard hollow tape to listen to. It's been a few hours. I can hear them clawing at the door. I locked myself in a storage closet, but I don't think the door opens from the inside. It's okay. Everything is okay. Acute stress reaction. Panic and emotional distress. Breathe. I guess it's been 24 hours since the attack. The sound of combat has... Is it stopped? They're still outside. I have roughly 8 to 10 weeks provided source of fluids. Starvation on set within 10 days. Effects of psychological shock are ongoing, but repressed. I can worry about PTSD later. It's been three days, three nights. Adrenaline has dissipated. I'm so thirsty. I'm, I'm so hung, hungry. I still can't unlock the door. Must conserve strength. Using energy to bang on the door, our yell has proven wasteful. A source of fluid nourishment has not been found. No one is coming. No one is, is coming for me. My friends are all, are all dead. Children were born into this violent world. I haven't researched what she was trying to do there. Oh, she was shooting herself. Derp. Flexing the index finger muscle to take her life because she was going to die in here. Once she went in here, the only way to unlock this was this terminal. And she could hear eh, all the responders get overrun by the scorched. And she could hear all of them die. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, well, there you go. Dot is pointing me to go to uh, outside 
based on some of these other items that you see in my upper right hand corner. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that for somebody else. Yeah, so the responders were all of the... Yeah, that leads you to Harper's Ferry. Um, all of the responders were, like I said before, police, EMT, doctors. Um, yes, I want that. Cap stash, excellent. Towels and ammo I don't need. And they, after the bombs dropped, all of them got together to try to hold things together. But soon after the bombs dropped and everything went south, that's when the scorch started showing up. And like I said, if everybody had shared their notes with each other, what they learned, everybody learned a little piece of some important bit of knowledge, but they didn't share with each other. Resources were limited, and they were worried that, you know, other factions, other groups were going to take advantage of them. And that fear led to everyone dying. So... I don't need that. Wish there was a hole so I could jump down. <laughs> and that's... Ah. There was a time when you could take shortcuts with the old layout. Alright. I will... Go this way. First floor. Was it second? It was the basement, wasn't it? The other reason why the scorched are creepy is if there's no one around, they will start to kind of lock into place like that and start to kind of self-consume as the ultracite grows in them. So you can't necessarily use your vats, your auto-targeting, because they're not moving. So there could be, you know, like here, there were three of them, and I'd, I'd tap my vats button to see if, you know, see if anything was here. Nothing registered right away. <laughs> We'll take that. Nothing. And nothing. Ugh. I haven't determined if this woman is either crazy. Or if they were, if she was passing notes? Because she's here. I close the door. The only way she could be passing notes is through here. I think the two, oh no. I, th I wonder if it was the two, there were two people in here and they were just writing instead of talking to hide and somebody made a break for it and when they made a break for it she got killed too <sighs> that's what I was looking for that's heartbreaking had any of them known how bad it was <sighs> I think 
like I'm carrying something. That's uh, 38. Is this the old note? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I love these old planes that you find around West Virginia. <sighs> and I have the ID card so I can actually go in here and get bits. I'm going to close this thing. egg sure <clears throat> excuse me sorry about that Molotov cocktails are fun ah, da, 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 da. Uh, Jaspin this is the Morgantown Airport this is just east of Vault 76. It's one of the... Well, Flatwoods is probably one of the first places that you end up going to. Because it's due south. Um, it's probably the safer way to go, actually. Because <clears throat> Morgantown is either full of scorched or full of ghouls. And doing that right off the bat is, it's a little rough. It can be a little rough. I'll, we'll just say that. Yeah. So yeah, this became a responder's trading post. And one of the changes that they made... Is it on the other side here? Yeah, my bad. Now it's on this floor. Where? Ugh. Yeah, you got me. Is that, I, did I just miss it? Huh. Well, that's the way down. I can't remember where it is now, but there's an actual... And, and we walk by it, too. I just don't remember where it is. Um, there's a chalkboard, which is, like, basically a battle plan for them figuring out how they're going to deal with being <clears throat> stuck in this building and the Scorched Invasion coming at them. So... Ah, crap. That's right, the blocked up the door with this new build. Alright. And... Uh, and now you get to witness how I can't find my ass with both hands and a map in a game. Alright. I'm taking the cheater's way out here. Oh crap. Alright, fine. Uh, put on my stainless steel underpants. This is the unique uh, power armor that is unique to uh, West Virginia. This is the excavator armor. And it was a retooling of power armor so that it could be used for mining specifically. And that's a whole interesting adventure in the game too to get that plan and get those. Alright, now I can get out of here. I'm gonna sell some stuff at the train station.
Yeah, it's it's a really interesting location. <clears throat> it's one of the earlier places that you get to see how dire things had gotten. And you find out a little bit about the location called Harper's Ferry. And you find out about the Christmas massacre that happened in Charleston, which is is a big deal and one of the turning points in civilization here in West Virginia. And it's at the point where the raiders turned from being scavengers to being evil pricks. <laughs> really. <laughs> And if you're into Steven Universe, the woman that does the voice of Amethyst does a Don't voice of a character. The wasteland without the proper supplies. Oh. I need to fire this up here. So Hard Bargain helps you get the most caps for the stuff that you sell. So Welcome, to... citizen. I am authorized to trade supplies. Because right now I have way too much aid. Like <laughs> cram. It's their now version of spam. <laughs> for supplies, ammunition, and gear. I'm not a character that depends on drugs for boosts, so that's why I do like drug runs. Like I said, I find all this extra stuff and be sure to stock up sell it off. While you can. Requisitions now available. Yeah, I really don't. Excel is I cool and unique. Authorized but... to trade supplies and equipment. see still running a little heavy here if you have supplies uh, today, I can be of service I think I'm gonna sell that off <clears throat> excuse me I really don't need these let's get rid of them Still Stock about five pounds heavy. Are available. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, Jaspin. Yeah, uh, sure. Plans on the ground. Ah, chemistry workbench. I got that. Um, is there anything in my stash box I can unload? No, I am maxed out. Well, I am hungry and thirsty, so... Oops. There we 
we go. How's my weight? Eh, it's still... Oops, gosh dang it. I'm gonna deal with my rads. All right. Okay. Now I really don't have to worry about my weight here. Was it? No, it's outside of Grafton that I'm thinking of. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, that's right. I got the plans for the small backpack. I go through my notes here, and... It's the one interesting thing about this game, is that you can get plans for things to build it at your camp, but you don't... You won't officially know it until you read it. And now I can make small, the standard small backpack and table lamps. Same goes with recipes. You don't learn how to make a thing until you read it. So, oh, uh, yeah. Hang on a sec here. Uh, derp, derp, derp. I want to... Oof. My power is getting a little low. There we go. I think... Yeah, I think I found you, Jaspin. And that's fine if you're low level. Yeah, to be honest, I really enjoy the game more when I'm playing with someone. <laughs> And I'm not a huge MMO player, or I, or I haven't been in the past, but Fallout 76 has kind of changed my feelings on that. Oh, hang on a sec. Just make sure. Okay. Sorry, Jaspin. I... Okay, cool. Um.
There we go. I sent you an invite. So, there we go. Hey. There we go. I'm going to hang tight at the rail station here so that I'm easy to find. You can just jump over by me. Oh sure, you're going to tease me with back on the beat. I think you're a liar. I think that's not actually happening. I know I read with the new patch that they're going to be changing the timing on these events so that they happen. Yeah, see, I would have jumped over there and gotten screwed again. <laughs> Uh, I'm at the Morgantown Station. Um, hang on, I'm going to zoom out and see if I can find... Oh! Did I lose you? You know what? I'm going to fast travel to you. Oh! I can't fast travel to you. Well, oh, first off, I need to put on my power armor because I can't. Because <sighs> I'm over encumbered. No, I'm not. No, I'm not over encumbered. I'm good. All right. Why wouldn't it let me? Okay, if you want to accept my invite, then we can fast travel to each other. There we go. Boom. All right, I'm going to fast travel to you. Hang tight, and I will be there in just a second. Oh, boom. There we are. Ah, whoa. You're invisible. Your... Oh, <laughs> it's, it's cool. <laughs> so that's just telling me where you're going to be. Excellent. I will hang tight. There. Nice. All right. Do you need any, like, food or any stim packs or anything? Any ammo? Looks like you use 44 with that gun, I'm going to assume. I don't have any 44, unfortunately. Um, but I do have... I'm going to give you some stim packs... Oops, there we go. Okay. There you go, Jaspin. Oh, <laughs> thanks, man. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to arm. There we go. I've got him armed now. Excellent. Excellent. 
roaming around in the underpants. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the map here. And... I just went through the airport and, like, killed everything off. So... You know what? What I think we should do... This might be an interesting... Interesting thing to do. I'm going to place a marker over here in a place where we can go where actually you can do an interesting little... Uh, a little quest that's a lot of fun. So let's head over. We'll just follow the road and then skirt by it. Oh crap, they're reloading. Alright, I'm gonna switch weapons so I don't like one shot kill stuff. Uh, yeah, that's not really working out. I'm still one shot killing things. You know, I have a strength of two. <laughs> this shouldn't be happening. Okay. Oh, they're coming. If we follow this road through, I think it takes us into Morgantown. Oh! What is Mimi here? <laughs> That's all right, Irish. No worries, man. I don't know. Oh, I lost track of you, Jasmine. Oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah, if uh, you... Oh, you need to sell some stuff? Okay, let's go back to the train station. to use Team Medic. Hmm. Well, 
I'm actually teamed Greetings, up with someone, so... Requisitions are now available. Ah. There we go. Let me... Now trading for supplies, ammunition, and gear. Okay. Don't face the wasteland without the Proper okay, I'm going to share Team Medic so when we use stim packs it'll help uh, each other. Stock mm. up now. Hello! Supplies are available. Oh, <laughs> you know what? I made this party public. <laughs> I have regerts. <laughs> nah, that's all right. Let's see if I can't make this. Play together. Uh. Oh, party settings. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. The party's private, so. Oh, you need 308? Uh. Hang on. If there is an ammo bench... Actually, let's head to my camp. Let's head to my camp. Uh, I've got free 308 rounds in my vending machine. And now that we're teammates, you can free travel to my camp. I has regerts. Yeah, I, you know, I should have been thinking about that. If we eventually want to monetize these videos, <laughs> should probably not have randos pop in and possibly explicatively fill the YouTube video with uh, all the explicatives, as it were. And I just got hit. All right, what did I hit? Okay, well, everything seems fine now. Yeah, come on over to my vending machines. I've got free ammo. I'm very certain I got 308 in here. Yep, here, this one's the ammo. Oh, you want to check the place out? That's cool, too. Yep, this one here is ammo, and you should be able to grab some 308 shells that I have in there. I can't remember how many I have, but at least it's some. And give me a second here. Swap out. <gasps> no. 
Dang it. Which one was it? Batteries. So it's... Power user. There we go. All right. Let us... You need core for arm... Oh, okay. Yeah, no worries. Uh, let's go over here to ammo. Actually, I'm going to get out in the open so I'm not dropping it. Uh... Yeah, here you go. Got a couple of cores and some 308. Excellent. I'm gonna switch my cards around. Uh. Oh, I thought I grabbed Super Duper. Crap! I didn't. That's why it didn't trigger, because I didn't activate it. Derp. Oh well. You too. Get a room. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Well, what are my guns shooting at here? Oh, nice. The heck was going on over here? Eighty-three A and oil spill. What was a super mutant? I've never huh. seen anything so oh. beautiful. Got some three oh eight rounds here that I just picked up. It's not much, but there you go. That is a very good question. I am not sure. What would you like to do? What do we got in the fridge? Boo. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Okay. Ouch. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Do you... Ew. Jaspin, have you been through Helvetia here? Which is the town that we're right by. You haven't? Okay. Let's, uh... It's not a very high-level location, so let's just, uh... Ooh, take a look. Well, that should be fine. We'll use that. Can you hold it up, please? Do you do you want to slice it up and? 
use it. We've got some like prepackaged rice things, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, crap. Oh, sorry about that, Jasmine. Oh. Excellent. Oh, super mutants were here. Oh, yeah, that's me. It looks like somebody's been through here. Oh, that kind of stinks. There's a Nuka Cherry here if you want it, <clears throat> Jaspin. And if I recall... Yeah, there's some stuff in here too. There's some bits of food. We got a few more buildings over here. And I have a feeling that this place was sort of cleared out. I don't hear any footsteps. But here's some salt if you're... I don't know how you're sitting for some of that stuff. Hey, Kara. I found you, whoop, I found you coffee. I got a pumpkin spice coffee and, uh, what is it, pecan maple? Something like that. And I found you uh, mystery flavored Oreos. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Jasmine. They're light roasts, and I think that they did that so that the flavors could come through. So it, it could be, it could be crap. Um, it's Archer Farms, which is Target's brand of stuff. Um, usually their stuff is really good. So. Um, Oh, and uh, lighter roasts have more caffeine than standard, uh, like a medium roast. Oh, hey, Jasmine, there's some spices over here that you might want for some recipes. This kitchen here is pretty decent for... It's got some sugar here. And there's a thing of pepper and another thing of spices up here. There's a few recipes that, that require sugar, spices, pepper, and there is a perk card that you can eventually find that if you have salt in your inventory, your food will last longer. It's one I don't have. I think it's 
salting. Oh, and here's a recipe too here sitting on the counter. I don't know if you have it or not. All right. Oh, here's a, this dumpster is a good place to find stuff too. Closed dumpsters. You know, they've got both of their lids and they're both closed. Usually have something inside of them. And here is like a whole bunch of wood. If you're looking for wood, this is an awesome place to get it. Oh, <laughs> it's all good, Kara. I'm going to try to pack it up this weekend and uh, ship it out this week. Okay, let's, uh, if you've grabbed all your wood, what we can do is head back this way. There's a few more buildings over here. Yep, here we go. We're getting into... I think some of the stuff might be regenerating. Nice. All here. Oops. There we go. Sorry, I'm gonna switch back to my big old claw. So I'm not one-shotting things. <laughs> Mel And I don't know if you took a look in in the medicine cabinets here, these these mirrors that stick out like this. You can find medicine and other stuff in it. Oh. Oh, and here's a cap stash, dude. Right under this dresser. missing something? Oh, did you... Oh. Hang on. Today is not my lock picking day. There we go. got border number two. Well, pretty soon you'll have your own mystery Oreos, Kara. <laughs> Ten millimeter, blah. Nope. 
No goodies. And border number three. You'll have your own mystery Oreos and Twinkies. And Luke can beg you to have them. How's that? It's good to be in the driver's seat. <laughs> All right. You might want to uh, grab these clipboards. When you break them down, you get springs, which can be uh, used to help repair your power armor. Well, sometimes I have good ideas, Kara. Oh, cream. And there's a kitchen in here which has got some stuff which you might be interested in. The combat knife, I don't know if you... You seem to be more of a gun build, so... Grabbing salt and pepper and sugar and spices is, is a good idea for a little bit. Just the stockpile. And there's some goodies in there for you. Some actual cranberries, not the diseased ones that you typically find. <laughs> Who put the quarter in you, Mel? Holy cow. And where did they put it? Yikes, lady. Princess Body Mouth. Alright, there's some Rataway in the refrigerator and a cherry Nuka Cola there, too. Oh! Oh, you're just getting rid of some stuff? Cool. Gotcha. Oh, and here's uh, cream. That's a nice one. It's a liquid that will help slake your thirst, as it were. And I'm doing well on spices, so... Alright, and if you're ever looking for plastic, these uh, pool balls are all plastic. Must have been the second cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, goof. All right. And sometimes you can find cool things in the mailboxes here, too. Sometimes I like to put goodies in them. Okay, this area that we're going to get into is going to be a little bit rougher. See what level? Okay, they're lower level, so you'll be able to handle that. Nice. And there's one on the porch over here. I saw one in there. I guess it didn't. <clears throat> oh. All 
right in the face. <clears throat> yeah, we should go in here first, for sure. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I do like to come in here. There's Nuka Cola Quantum and that Nuka Cola Cherry. There's a safe over here that I'll open to. Uh, concentrated fire. Put long shot back. There you go. Okay. <laughs> you too. <laughs> oh. Ooh, vegetable medley soup. Mm -mm. Can go upstairs. Some radix. Yeah, that's fine. Absolutely. Yeah, and there's some stuff in here too, Jaspin, in this cooler. Yeah, this is where that person was shooting at me. Oh, and I found some 308 rounds here. Give me a sec and I will. It's only a couple, but maybe it'll help. <clears throat> there you go. All right. And what we can do is I have the key for this room too. Sometimes there's good stuff in there. Oh, hey, Jaspin. On this desk is a set of keys. That's how you'll get back into this room again in the future. So get those and hang on to those keys. That'll allow you to get back into this building and back into this room. This set of keys here. Yeah, there's another place you can find the keys too, but did you get these keys, Jaspin? I'm sorry. Okay, good. I wasn't sure if it was something that spawned separately for each person or if it was something that was like a, you know, like a typewriter or something where if it's taken, 
by one person it's gone okay cool now this church is going to have a few scorched in it oh and there's one right here And there might be one more in here. There's some psycho uh, under both of these lecterns here. Or the podium, I guess. <clears throat> On the second shelf, and there's one over here too. And... Yeah, here's a Mothman shrine. <laughs> no, not creepy at all. <laughs> Do you see that they've got a Mothman bundle. I just logged in tonight and saw that they have a full Cult of the Mothman bundle that they're offering. You get the bed. They've got a door. They've got a smoke machine. They've got the Mothman statue. <laughs> yeah. Need to get on that Adam farming there. Uh, there's some boiled water over here, Jaspin. <clears throat> I wasn't sure if you saw that hiding on the edge of this table. There you go. All right. And if you've got any junk that you want to scrap, here's a, a weapons bench. You can scrap your stuff so it doesn't weigh as much on you. And if you're in the market for a prospector hat, there's one here on this table. <laughs> I'm a sucker for uh, different uh, different outfits and stuff. Oh, Jaspin, there's also there's a hunting rifle in this crate. If you scrap weapons, you can learn mods for your guns, and that's a hunting rifle like you have. So you might be able to learn something extra to uh, modify your gun with if you scrap it. There you go. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, you went up a level. Nice. Okay, there's a hole here, so just make sure you hug to the right. Or jump. There you go, you got it. And there's some stuff hiding in here. And if you go to the top of the bell tower here, I think that there's a few more items of things. I know that there's a bandana up here, <clears throat> if you're looking for clothing bits. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And there's some boiled water and some beer. Bloop. 
Sweet. Nice. Let's scrap my junk. <clears throat> yeah, if you'll notice, Irish, I'm using your unstoppable monster gauntlet that you gave me. Which, even though I have a strength of two, still still does pretty good. <laughs> oh! Jaspin, I forgot that there's some psycho over here, too. There's uh, some cycle there for you. Yeah, the swimsuit. Definitely hang on to that. It comes in handy later. <laughs> and make sure I've got everything. I'll put it back here. Whoops. There we go. Oh, I am thirsty. Oops. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, since we're over here, we can check out these buildings that are back here, a part of the Oh, jeez. You gotta be careful, because if you get addicted to stuff, it will... it'll wreck your special scores until you can find some Addictol to get rid of it. So... Tread lightly. Okay. <laughs> There's some costumes in here that you can get, like this uh, Civil War suit, and there's a hat down here. There's a Black Powder Blunderbuss, too, which, while it's slow, um, it's kind of fun to play around with. Yeah, here's the hat just on the other side of this railing if you want, that goes with that suit. I'm going to get out of the way so you can get to it. It's kind of... It falls down there. And there's a bandana. And, oh, there's some purified water. 
and some deviled eggs. Mm. Oh, there's the hat. It got kicked out over there. Nice. Oh, there's multiple top hats. Interesting. <clears throat> then we get out to this gazebo, and there's a medicine container in there that you can... Ah, looking dapper. <laughs> yep, there's a medicine box here, a chem cooler. Not chem cooler, sorry, it's a chem box. Let's see, we came, yeah, we just came out of that building, and then there's the buildings over here. With the satellite dish. <laughs> oh. Uh. Actually, Jaspin, if you if you trust me, I can add some mods to your hunting gun if you are your hunting gun derp. Your hunting rifle if you are so interested. <laughs> I can pimp it out. see what cards do I need I need okay I got gunsmith I think that's oh weapons hang on is it weapons artisan yeah there we go okay uh, oh modify derp wrong button there we go. Okay, so... Oh, I need gunsmith for that. Okay, well, I gotta switch my cards out. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, back to gunsmith. There. Okay, now I can do stuff. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that. Uh, hardened. Yeah do that yeah I don't know how you feel about True stock or the stabilized gives you a little bit more accuracy, so we'll do that. Uh, let's see, 
is stinging. Swift. Uh, improved speed and ammo capacity. Yes. There we go. Um, I keep forgetting the more you pimp this out, the uh, faster it can degrade. All right, I'm going to put that on. It does lower your range a little bit, but you'll be able to surprise enemies, which is kind of nice. Okay. Um, I'm going to repair this. Oh, wait. Hang on. I'm going to switch to Weapons Artisan so that when I repair it... There we go. I get it to 200%. Okay. There we go. Inspect and repair. Okay. Oh, exit. All right, and weapons. There we go. All right. And there is some bullets. There's a 10 millimeter. I think there's 38 sitting over here. Here's your gun, buddy. Yeah, there's 38 rounds in this box here. And then there's the 10 millimeters there. Nice. stuff respawn down in downstairs. So I've got the danger warning up. Yep. Or not. That's weird. Well, what the heck? I have no idea why I got the danger. Hmm. The call's coming from inside the house. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. We've got one other building. Actually, two other buildings to go through. So we hit the gazebo, and then, yeah, there's this building here. There's some stuff. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to be wrapping this up in about 20 20 minutes, just so you're aware.
All right, we got Jaspin here with us who is a level eight. So I'm trying to give him a shot at some stuff to help uh, pump up his XP. I still have a danger warning. What is up with that? It's down to caution. Some dog food. Dog food is very useful in this game. <laughs> Alright, and we've got one last building over here. Or no, we've got two. Oh, that was gross. Oh, sorry. And a place to cook stuff and some water here, too. <clears throat> Oh, I'm so sorry. Hang on. My bad. There you go. Cool. There we go. <clears throat> Is that the tenderizer, or which is that, Irish? Oh! What the heck is that? That is awesome! <laughs> We're all friends here. Excellent. And there's some food over here, Jasp, and some water and some other stuff. I don't know how you're sitting on, on aid right now. But yeah, help. <sighs> Irish. <laughs> what did that car ever do to you? this place here. There we go. And there's, yeah, all sorts of knickknacks and stuff that you can break down. I highly recommend the metal chicken that is up top there. That's got some copper in it. And then there's some boiled water. And there's honey here. And the cute little bumble bear. <laughs> I forget, does the honey jar have actual honey in it? It's junk. All right. Do not want. So yeah, there's honey here. <laughs> Note about the robots. <laughs> and there's a thing up here too. I 
Irish. Oh, that flaming shish kebab is awesome. <laughs> and now Irish is Enclave. Oh! Dude, seriously? Oops. I don't want to get too far from you. Alright, have a good night, Chara, if I didn't just miss you. Probably did. Ralph. Yeah, we can check out your new base. Just make sure that, uh, yeah, Jaspin is there. Hey, Jaspin. Uh, Irish has got a base that he would like to show us. And if we look, we should be able to... Yep, just north of where my camp... Well, just north of us, we should see a yellow Irish Skeleton 25's camp. Oops. There we go. Or you can just fast travel to me, too. Whichever you'd prefer. Guns, guns, and more guns. can jam. I don't think I can jam from that angle, though. <laughs> ah, can't do it. There we go. Interesting design. Ah, you got the pool table. Look at that. Get your chair so you can see everything that's going on. Nice. Is that Strike Breaker?
Nice. the hook oh nice you got that very cool different key cards and different ammo types <laughs> you still have your pro oh you found the confederate hat nice still need to find that Porta potty. Oh, there it is. have one please <laughs> what was that for <laughs> dude's got a poop let a man poop yeah, that's kind of a cool location There we go. Nice. Oh, there you go. We need to get you some armor bits to put on there. Yeah. But I'm logging out in about 
ten minutes here, so... Uh, crap. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Never oh, good. You need help? Wait, where you at? Were you stuck? Oh, are you are you stuck? Okay, uh, grab your power armor and hop into it. If you can. Sometimes if you get stuck like in uh, like in walls or things like that, it can pull you out. But you're not pulling up your armor, so I'm guessing you can't even access your uh, your inventory. Yeah, you can't access your oh crap. The only solution to that is to log out of the game. That's a weird glitch that sometimes happens with power armor that they're working to fix so they haven't quite fixed it yet. And it sucks. It sucks a lot. And there's no other way around it. I'm sorry, Jaspin. Well, hmm. Can I invite you to trade and maybe snap you out of it? Yeah, I'm sorry, Jaspin, but you're you're gonna have to log out of the game. You can't like push him through. Oh, hey, Jaspin, try to fast. Tr oh, there you go. Oh, he can't access his Pip Boy Irish. Yeah, it's a it's a glitch with the power armor. You could dig to the center of the planet, and it still wouldn't free him. It's just it's a game glitch. He did. He removed the stuff underneath him directly, and in front of him. Yeah. No, it's a it's a power armor. Yeah. He can't access his Pip Boy to try to fast travel either. It just it's a it's a power armor thing. There's just nothing you can do about it. It doesn't happen often, thankfully, but when it does, you just kind of screwed. Uh, hang on. Uh, I'm going to have to boot you from the team, though. Give me just a sec. Uh, okay. Come on. I give the option to fast travel him. Okay. You gotta shoot at us. There it is. his bag of stuff alone and hopefully 
Jaspin will be able to... Where's the closest point that he'll spawn at? Probably the tattoo parlor. Dude, <laughs> I'll be right back, Irish. <laughs> It just took me by surprise. Oh, I'm sorry, Jaspin. Yeah, it's almost the top of the hour when I'm going to be logging off here, but I'm going to go back and get my stuff. It's no big deal, dude. It just took me by surprise. <laughs> okay, Jaspin. Thanks for playing. At least you went up a level, which is kind of cool. Gosh, I hope so. Huh. Uh, oh, derp, give you a d yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not the smartest. Uh, I don't even remember what it was. Uh, we'll do offer. I don't even know how much it was. Yeah, was it twenty? I I don't know. It's whatever. Oh, it's not letting you trade? <laughs> okay. Let's try again. Mm. Uh. Sounds like you didn't have the option to invite them to your team. Yeah, hang on. Let's uh, try a team invite here. My wife is smart. Oh. Okay. He joined my team. I'm not sure where he is. I think he might have fast traveled to fix, try and see if he can fix it.
Narp. Oh, he traveled to my camp to buy some stuff. Okay. Doop a doo. Oh, okay. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, did. Oh, yeah, the roof is kind of fun to get to. But don't think about messing with that tree. Yeah, that would... Hanging out on the satellite dish. Having cool drinks by the stick. I didn't realize that the dish would scan. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, Irish, I gotta wrap things up for the night. It was good playing with you for for a while, and hopefully we can do so again soon. All right, loafers, we got to do some fun stuff. Uh, got to meet somebody new, Jaspin, and got to help raise him up a level, which was kind of cool. Got to hang out with our old friend Irish and just uh, tour around the wasteland a little bit. So thanks, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Get it.